。接下来呢，邀请出第二组队伍，来自以色列的 Fratos。我们先看 VTR。Good morning, Nihao. I'm Svi Schreiber, CEO of Freitas, and let me tell you for just a few minutes how we're bringing one of the world's biggest and most traditional industries into the internet era. Well, global trade is the background to this. Global trade has grown exponentially in、uh, recent years. This year, 19 trillion U.S. dollars of goods will be imported and exported around the world, with China being the number one exporter. Let me tell you why world trade is important. That there are two main reasons. Firstly, world trade has an incredible ability to create jobs. A billion new jobs have been created by export in just the last 15 years. As、uh, Jack Ma said, the vision of Alibaba, in many ways, is to create an environment where small and medium enterprises can access world markets and create more jobs. The second reason why world trade is really important is that in the West, 90% of what we buy, including all my clothes and gadgets, are imported. So world trade is the basis for our lifestyle. That's how we get all the clothes and gadgets, and toys that we want. As President Xi said, we're going into a fourth industrial revolution, where we'll use innovation to create even more growth. Now, how does world trade occur? How do the goods get from China to the West or from India? It's a trillion-dollar industry. Shipping. The world spends a trillion U.S. dollars shipping stuff by ocean and air every year. And you probably would expect that this industry, being so big and so important, is very modern and efficient. <laughs> well, I can tell you, it really is not. Would you believe that it takes an average of four days just to get a price quote to ship something, for example, from China to America? And every single shipment involves hours of manual work. It's kind of hard to believe. I, I have first-hand experience in this. Before I started Freitas, I was CEO of Lightech, and we made power supplies for LED lights. We produced them in Shenzhen, and every day we were shipping by air and ocean from Shenzhen to US and to Europe. And many times. I was waiting so long just to get an accurate price quote that I would lose a customer. So I really felt the pain of this inefficient industry. Of course, I'm not the only one. Just on Alibaba.com, there are millions of export businesses, and every one of them is wasting time and money on this inefficient shipping every single day. Now, for B to C. It's much easier if you're sending a small item. It can go by China Post. It can go by FedEx. For small items, there are efficient solutions. But for B to B, the world really needs instant, accurate freight pricing. And even for B to C, if a family in Paris finds this furniture on AliExpress, the furniture costs a thousand one hundred dollars. But the actual price for shipping on AliExpress. Is 2,000 U.S. dollars, so there's no good solution for freight. And I can tell you, the family in Paris will not buy this furniture, and the exporter in China will not get the order with the current shipping solution. So, 
five years ago, I had some good luck. I sold Litec to GE Lighting, and then I decided to get back into software, which is what I love doing. I have a PhD in computer science, and decided with a team to create software to make global trade frictionless by bringing freight online. The vision is very simple. We want to make shipping this just as easy as buying an airline ticket online. That is the vision. Of course, not so simple, right? There are several significant obstacles to bringing freight online. Firstly, it's a very traditional industry. This is a real photo from one of the freight forwarders we work with. And a hundred years later, they're still using a lot of the same paper processes that they used back then. There are hundreds of thousands of carriers, ocean, air, truck, rail. The data is complex. A typical shipment will involve at least 20 different price items, which have to be accurate in different currencies. And where is the data? There are no data standards. So the data is sitting in Excel sheets all around the world in different languages and formats. So the question me and my team asked is, can we bring this huge industry online? We felt when we started five years ago that using cloud computing, we had a chance to achieve that. We created a two-step strategy. First, we would help the freight forwarders to automate their price quotes. And then second, once we had the automatic price quotes, we would publish them on the internet and create a marketplace. So we assembled a team. Some of the team have worked with me before. We had an exit to IBM together. Team brings experience from freight, from cloud, from startups. And we raised 50 million US dollars uh, from GE as a strategic investor and venture capital funds. And in the first phase of our strategy, we helped freight forwarders around the world to automate their price quotes. Would you believe that in order to do that, we had to read in 100,000 Excel sheets from all around the world into our cloud database and create, of course, a powerful routing algorithm in the cloud to find the best way to get freight from A to B across the planet? Well, it worked. We have now engaged with 1,000 freight forwarders including these multi-billion dollar companies, and we help them to automate their price quotes. And you can look at the growth in the number of price quotes going out. These are examples of some of the companies who have received freight pricing powered by Freighter software. And of course, in doing this, we've used substantial cloud computing resources. Because of our routing algorithms, we use servers which have 200 gigabytes of RAM each. So in 2016, last year, we felt that we finally had enough data to actually stop publishing freight rates online. And so we launched the Freightos Marketplace, and this is what it looks like. It's a bit like an Expedia. You come in, you say, I have a 20-foot container in Shenzhen. I need to get it to Chicago. And within seconds, you can get dozens of accurate price quotes, full door-to-door -door binding price quotes from Chinese freight forwarders, from American freight forwarders, from European freight forwarders. And you can book it online with a credit card, just like an airline ticket. It works, of course, in Chinese as well. So, it says here it's working, but I can tell you, when we launched the Freightos Marketplace just over a year ago, at the beginning, it did not work very well. People were not used to buying freight online, and they were not used to selling freight online. And we only got a handful of orders. The next quarter, we worked really hard, and we increased the orders by 60%. And then we increased it again by 60%. And again, and again, and again. And some big companies started buying as well. And now, we're starting to do some real volume of freight online. Time's up, I'm okay. sorry. Great presentation. So let's see, let's take some questions from the judges. Freightos. 
我注意到他还有很多页 PPT 还没有完成，可以再问他多一点问题，他可以讲多一点内容。Wow, we are we are really attracted. So could you? I would I would give you maybe here one more minutes just to finish it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's very generous of you. Okay. Let's do that. One minute for you. Oh well, thank you. I, I'd actually um, essentially finished. I just wanted to mention that now we've opened an office in China, and introduced my colleague uh, Joyce Tai, who manages our China office. Um, but we're still serving China from the cloud in the U.S. So we would very much like to partner with Alibaba Cloud and bring our data and algorithms into China as well. Any other questions from the question judges? Here. Yes, please, Jalen. Okay, so you mentioned a problem that you're solving, but it, I don't see any, uh, you mentioned any uh, competitors you have in this market. So who are they? What's the difference between you guys and them? Well, the, the amazing thing is that there is very uh, little competition. Um, there are a couple of companies approaching this in a different way. There, there is one important company in Silicon Valley called Flexport, and they are creating an online freight forwarder. Um, so in that respect, they are creating a different strategy for the same problem. They are an actual freight forwarder, but they are online. So that's an indirect competitor. Uh, there are some companies in China who publish rates online, but you can't actually book door-to-door -door online. So it's not a real marketplace where you can get online service. Um, there were a couple. There were a couple of other startups in the West. One was called Haven. Uh, another was called Express Rate. Um, they've actually both failed because of the complexity. They didn't have enough data, and now they've both pivoted to do other things. So in terms of an actual marketplace where you can get a door-to-door -door rate uh, around the world and book online, we're actually now the only one. But it is a very large opportunity, so I am expecting more competition. Okay, thank you. Actually, I know one who is Chinese. It's a startup as well. Good luck. Okay, I'd love, I'd love to hear more about it later. Thank you. Do we have any other questions from the judges? No questions. Thank you very much, Freitos. Please keep on working on the project because usually when I get shipment, it is more expensive than the product itself without me knowing it from the very start.